Welcome to Monet Cafe. Visitors, subscribers, friends, and oh, am I excited to bring you the artist series Monet Cafe designer bracelets inspired by famous artists such as, of course, Monet, and other artists that I also love, such as Van Gogh and another amazing pastel artist, Degas. So join me in this little presentation where I wanted you to be able to meet the designer, Mary Valisano, and share a little bit about the story of, oh, what an amazing woman of strength, beauty, and grace. And she's going to share a little bit about how we came up with the Monet Cafe Designer Series bracelets, a little bit more about herself, and of course, information on how you can purchase a Monet Cafe Artist Series bracelet, which will not only support the Monet Cafe channel, bringing free videos to the world, but also my new dear friend, Mary Valisano. We had such a great time creating these bracelets. All right, guys, I am here in Monet Cafe studio with a very special guest. This is my friend, Mary, and I discovered her when I fell in love with her jewelry. Uh, I found her on Instagram and I bought many of her bracelets and bought them as gifts for family members. And I recently had the idea, some of you have probably gotten a little sneak peek of where I have said that I wanted to design a bracelet for Monet Cafe because often all you see of me is my hand just painting mm -hmm. in front of the camera. And I thought how neat if I could have a bracelet with a little, um, uh, charm on it that said Monet Cafe. So I was thinking, I wish I knew someone who knew how to do that. And I realized, Mary, I know someone who is a jewelry designer. So this is a special segment of Meet the Designer. And I'm going to have Mary tell you a little bit about herself and what she does. And then we're going to talk a little bit more about the Monet Cafe Artist Series bracelets. Okay, Mary, tell us, how did you get into this? And what do you have here to show us? Well, hello there, and thank you so much You're for so having welcome. me. I'm so grateful to be here, and I just love Susan, oh. and I'm so grateful <laughs> to be here. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, I want to show you what my passion is. I love making jewelry, and my the medium I love working with is sea glass. Mm -hmm. I find it myself, and if you don't know or if you're uh, unfamiliar with it, it's basically broken glass that's gone into the ocean, but it has tumbled for 40, 50, 60 years, so the edges are smooth. Mm. I love collecting it myself. I've gone on trips specifically to find it. And you will see here, mm -hmm. this piece in particular is the neck of a Coke bottle, of an old Coke bottle. This wow. was found in San Francisco Bay, probably during the 1940s or 50s. And you'll see with my little mermaid mm -hmm. girl on it, these are fan pulls for a ceiling fan or for a light. I sell these on my Etsy page. I have all sorts of different kinds, but I love doing mermaid or beach inspired jewelry and I love working with sea glass. So basically with time and age and wear and tear can make things better sometimes. <laughs> yes, they can. And in fact, if That's we want to know. <laughs> carry the metaphor on um, to the storms of life, sometimes mm -hmm. they're abrasive, but they can smooth our rough edges Amen. and so that is what they've Mary's items that she has shown here are available on her Etsy store and that is the location where we will be offering the Monet Cafe Artist Series bracelets as well and her Etsy store is the Manic Beater. She has so many lovely things also available on her website which is www.themanicbeater.com. I love her jewelry so check it out and now we're going to tell you a little bit more about the Monet Cafe bracelets. But I wanted to let Mary um, tell you a little bit about these bracelets too. I gave her, I could see what an artist she is at what she does because I had the concept of designing a bracelet around certain colors or a certain artist. So I literally gave her three artists that I love and some of the paintings that they have done because I loved those colors. And she went to her supplier where she picks up all of her things for making the bracelets. And we had a grand time coming up with all of the colors and the textures to these bracelets. And she has done a beautiful job with these bracelets. Now let's hear from Mary a little bit more about her design process in making these beautiful bracelets. This one is the Monet. You can see the painting that inspired this. All of these are semi-precious gemstones 
They are Tibetan silver charms on this. And in fact, the little dangly charm is one that we came up with. Susan actually designed the um, logo that we are using, but we wanted something that would reflect the beauty of this painting. And so these colors kind of spoke to me and the texture of it mm -hmm. just worked into something unique. Now, this next one here is the Degas, and that is the beautiful ballerina painting here. This one again, they are all semi-precious stones. We have different textures and colors. We have your greens and blues, yellows and browns. Mm -hmm. This is silver plated chain. It is adjustable in size yes. to fit all sorts of different kinds of wrists. That's important. And it is, it's beautiful, but it is not something that is going to be too heavy. It's actually fairly light. It is going to um, hang and drape nicely, but it won't like obstruct anything. This, mm. We purposely chose mm -hmm. this size of charm. It's 20 millimeters, so it would not be very big. I also find in wearing these now myself that because they are so earthy in color palette, uh, that they really go with everything. You know, it's not one of those bracelets that you're gonna put in a drawer or in your jewelry case and not wear. They, and they're very artistic. They just look like an artist, right? All right, let's look at this next one. The next one in the series is the Van Gogh. Oh, and I just love these colors in this bracelet. Okay, I am wild about these colors. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about that, but the contrast with the orange and the turquoisey uh, colors are absolutely gorgeous. Most of these are very earthy in nature, so they will go and blend in with whatever you are wearing that day. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. All right, guys, so we're going to show you close-ups of these. We're going to be talking about these a lot more on your, uh, probably on your Instagram mm -hmm. and wherever Mary is going to advertise them. Of course, they're available on Monet Cafe, but I'll be giving you all of the information about how to order these and get your own Monet Cafe bracelet. Mary, thank you so much for this, and I'm so happy that you designed these bracelets just for Monet Cafe. Happy painting and happy jewelry wearing soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> The Monet Cafe Artist Series bracelets will be available on March 1st, 2020. We'll be sharing plenty of information about how to purchase them, clickable links, so that you can show your artistic style and support Monet Cafe. Happy painting!